Hello and welcome to my next uh, 40k video that I have a series that I've been making. Uh, this is more of a history video uh, which is is more of a personal request from people so yes I'm listening and I made it but for those who don't know my second most popular army in the game after Tyranids is is Sisters of Battle. Uh, and uh, apparently I'm always on the opposite side of things because a lot of people are upset with the Sisters of Battle's rules too. And I've never been bothered by it. I have been bothered by things that have happened in the fluff. In fact, I have... Oh, I, I paint all of my Grey Knights red now. Uh, I don't paint them silver or grey or, or, or that. They're all painted red uh, in honor of Games Workshop's Canon Edition in that Grey Knights, their protection from demons comes from Sororitas blood. So uh, all the Aegis and everything like that, I just say, yep, yep, I paint all mine red because apparently they have no protection unless they're slaughtering Sisters of Battle. At least that's that that's how I read it. So on on the rule side, on a more serious aspect, um, it's never bothered me because I've never, uh, other than the first codex that came out like ten years ago, I've never played a sister's codex rules. I've always just used Space Marine rules and used the sisters' figures. Uh, for those who don't know, Sisters of Battle is the first and only uh, fan-made GW army. Uh, I believe the whole Sisters of Battle concept came from one black and white picture in, I think it was the Compendium, the Big Red Compendium book, of what looked like a, spa a female space marine with a bolter and a habit. And from that, came Sisters of Battle. One picture created an entire army list based purely upon player demand. Which is fine because what that really means, more important than, than the army list, was the fact that the figure line was created. That was the real achievement. Because what that really gave you a chance to do then and is just say, hey, this is my uh, converted space marine army. These are my female space marines. You make up whatever, whatever rules you want. They don't even have to be sisters of battle. You could just say... These are, this is my space marine, not space marine, but this is, this is, I'm using the space marine rules and explain it any way you want, which is what many people did and what I do. Uh, now it's, they, more of them look at the rules about it, but I don't. And with, with the Necrons, I, when they first came out, I used those. Uh, a lot of people didn't like the Necron rules, and they were pretty plain, but to be honest, the sisters' rules were even worse. So I just thought, cool, you know, just say, the I'll be back rule is divine intervention. And, you know, spin it whatever way you want. It doesn't matter. Now, with the new 6th edition codex, it was just a blessing to my sister's army. Because there was direct conversions of all the units into it. Uh, even even the artifacts, the Space Marine artifacts, fit. Like, I use the banner of the Emperor Ascendant. Come on. It's a perfect sister's weapon. Uh, the Burning Blade. Fantastic. Uh, they're even WYSIWYG, right? Because you get what you see is what you get. It's power armor, it's a jump pack, it's a bolter, it's a melt -a gun it's a plasma gun, whatever. You don't, you don't even have confusion with that. The only thing that really changes is the figure. So in many cases, I've never even really seen the point of having uh, their own rules. I'm happy to use the figures. Uh, that's what the sisters meant for me. And now, even the vehicles, even the tanks... 
translate over directly. Instead of turning an exorcist into a whirlwind, which was a different role altogether, you now have these Skyfire missiles and what it's a it's the D3 instead of a D6. It's basically an exorcist, and you can change that around. And for me, I'm happy with it. That's more of a history lesson but uh, than, than anything else. But for anybody who, who's interested in playing Sisters, uh, I use – oh, I know. And I use the uh, Legion of the Damned for, for Celestines. It's perfect. I mean instead of – it's perfect. You know, there's your divine protection once again. Plus three, three plus invulnerable save. Uh, explain it any way you want. The Legion of the Dam doesn't even explain it. You can just say, once again, divine intervention. You can take a, a psyker or a librarian, I mean, but instead and in say that th those are the acts of faith. Uh, if, if you want, whatever. Explain whatever the miraculous interventions are in any way that you want. And it's perfect. Of course, you use, or I use, the Black Templar tactics, because that goes perfect with that. And as far as I'm concerned, the Sisters of Battle Codex is a solution looking for a problem. So anybody who does play Sisters or thought about playing Sisters, uh, may, maybe you can just take uh, you can play Imperial Guard, throw in a detachment of Space Marines, and, but use Sisters figures instead. Um, it's just it's just great. I, I even had more fun converting the uh, Centurions with Sisters models, uh, especially since the Tyrion isn't actually power armor, it's it's a vehicle or a kind of mini vehicle is how they described it. So it's not interfacing through the black carapace. So in that, in theory, anybody can use it because it's 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 not power armor per se. And I'm I'm not even sure if they're wearing power armor inside of it. I don't know. Never mind. So my take on the Sisters of Battle. Use the various space marine rules just think of it as your own chapter and don't cry about the, the substandard I don't know if you want to call it that rules or attention that are that are given to the sisters of battle army list again uh, just my opinion just my advice on how I play the sisters. I hope it's useful to people, and I will see you next time.